Okay, hello. I am Susan Jagendorf from State University of New York at Cobleskill, uh, which is a college of agriculture and technology. I am the executive director of international education. So uh, we build programs, we uh, bring international students in, we send students out, and I also support a lot of faculty initiatives. Um, and I come from the faculty. I, I taught for many years myself, and so I understand um, how important it is to spice up uh, courses, to have professional development opportunities, um, to reach out to make ourselves much more relevant as we can partner with, uh, with people from abroad and learn new perspectives on the programs and the, the academic courses that we're teaching. Uh, it's great to have new ways of, of uh, delivering courses also to improve retention, student retention. And um, so I think that COIL is one of the most fantastic developments that we could have in, in education today. Uh, and it's something that I have been very much a proponent of ever since we, uh, the whole concept first uh, started at, at SUNY Purchase. Um, and I was very glad to come to the first event uh, that, that John Rubin put together at SUNY Purchase, especially because my daughter was studying there at the same time. So, um, so it was a great way to connect in two ways. But um, we are, I know here at, at Cobleskill, we are working very, very oh, hard. I'm on, the, I'm on the Skype session with Susan. We, uh, we are working I call you very, back. very hard oh, bye -bye. at SUNY Cobleskill to um, globalize, internationalize our campus in general. I would say not only curriculum, but, but to make um, students, faculty, and staff better global citizens and to make sure that we develop programs that are um, very, very important uh, as, as we move forward. And in just about every academic program, I think there, there is room for a COIL dimension. And um, I've, I've gone around, you know, where, wherever it's possible to, to um, spread the, the good word to people in different departments. Um, when faculty are thinking about leading students abroad, we have a lot of faculty-led programs. I recommend that they think about um, adding COIL either before or after uh, um, they have gone abroad because in cases where they have made connections, it's a wonderful way to continue. So um, I, I, I think for so many reasons, um, this is a, a very, very important in, uh, dimension to higher education as we go forward. We know that uh, not everybody can travel abroad uh, for a variety of reasons. And of course, right now, there are lots of concerns about finances in many parts of the world. But that should not hold students and faculty and um, administrators, staff back from uh, continuing to develop programs in ways that will um, expand and, and uh, again, make us better academics and better global citizens. So I would say that um, going through this partnering orientation was a wonderful way to dip the toes in, in the field. And um, I very much hope that all of our colleagues who have been in this session and in sessions before and those after follow through and actually do try to build partnerships and uh, we would be very interested in, in um, a number of technical fields or in some of the liberal arts areas for our, the uh, participating people in the COIL projects to uh, open their doors to us too and I'd be happy to try to connect you with faculty and uh, I look forward to hearing from our other participants and learning from them as well. Thank you.